So you may have seen the collaborations I did with the VTuber I married, Lilith. I played Monster Prom 1 and 2 of her. In the first game, I managed to get a good ending when she didn't. But in the second game, I didn't manage to get a good ending. Neither did she, but she managed to get a good ending in her solo playthrough, but I I felt particularly bummed since I hadn't gone to experience a good ending yet, so I'll be playing Monster Prom 2 Monster Cam by my own to see if I can get a good ending this time. Okay, so game. It's just me this time. And I'll go for the full game. Ah, can spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back when we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days, while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like, if life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Okay, so once again, I'll go with the zombie guy. Okay. I'm ready for a nap. Now let's see. Marshmallows. Good therapist. Quite sharp. Uh, well, that. I'll go of it. One might say the monster from hard dust on the heights and lows of love. Highs and lows. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. And some camp was no different. No one talked about. But the idea of a sum love loomed over our heads. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just five weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was much from all over again. Everything seems uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson. I'll be pursuing her naturally. Johnson, Joe Hema, 23. A bad switch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Or not. I probably, as in, last time she didn't seem so concerned on chilling, she, she couldn't resist going back to work. Bye, Shia. Hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse, who turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculator, hot lead packard, 1.1, a library computer who had become sent a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahal Aquino, 20, a buff blue demon and a warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo Belladonna, a deaf reaper doubling as an internet influencer, and who was profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long, and all of some could be shaped by the first step well taken. So it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing good impression for the right person. Oh, yes, this, this seemed to play a major factor with how the game played out and how likely you are to get to a certain person. So, I do. Curve. Let's see. Amazing succulents. Saving the world. Yes! I knew it! Oh, are you dabbling in world saving, Mouncy? Nice! I've pretty much made my full time job. If you ever wanted to take your heroism beyond a hobby, you should call me. I could give you some great points on how to stop an apocalypse in his tracks and still have time for social life. Maybe we could hang out a bit this summer in between saving countless lives. What you say? Yeah. 
we only had 5 weeks left to rule our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we're young and unafraid, and we are ready to start. Okay, where to first be? Ooh, really need to build up my charm and creativity, so... This is why I go to build charm, right? Yeah. But they have capped them. You all do farm wars. <laughs> okay. That means camps are waging a war against the farm warriors. So it's supernaturally buff farm monsters from Camp Farm. <laughs> okay, at least not the camp rival camp. It's surprisingly terrifying. You were sure to lose, but thanks to your quick thinking, you had to plan to fight the farm warriors with their greatest weakness, predators without opposable farms. Some may say your team sinking a pack of rabbit mountain lions with predators is cheap. But you prefer term strategic, gain plus two charm. I good. High smarts. Your are team with Joy and Dahlia playing a Camp Dome classic. Capture a flag from the jaws of a hungry kraken. Ooh. Dahlia's having a blast, but Joy seems completely uninterested. Hey. What's the matter with you, Joy? Aren't you having fun? I'm having a blast! Uh. Nah, I'm completely uninterested in this. Wow, cool, thanks. Do you assholes need a narrator or not? <laughs> I mean, I could be out saving the world from actual Krakens right now. Well, was that not an actual Kraken? But instead, I'm stuck here playing a stupid game with no real satisfactory conclusion. What are you talking about? The satisfaction is winning! And as a fellow COVID member, I can't allow myself to win this game without the full support and happiness. You're not a COVID you member. In the coven. <laughs> Dara, we have been over this. You are not now, nor have you ever been, a member of the. It is I, Dimitri. The coven, you say? Uh. Dimitri, what the hell are you doing here? Ah, wouldn't you like to know my beautiful black clothes flower? <laughs> yeah, I would like to know. That's why I asked. But skip ahead to my villainous monologue, I see. But you know how much I hate to rush through the foreplay. Your <laughs> power is admirable. Well, regardless, I've joined Camp Rival Camp, sir. I may finally vanquish the Coven Leah once and for all, while you are alone and distracted. The joys of making s'mores and singing songs and kayaking under the blistering, delightful sun are quite taxing on my brooding exterior. But such crosses I must bear. I'm here to save the day! Okay, to be honest, I got pretty bored and stopped listening like six sentences ago. But if you're a villain of the Coven, Woody McNaught, Liam, then you're a villain of mine. Dala, stop! For the gods' sake, you're not a witch! You don't even have any magic! <sighs> well, she... she's a demon, surely she'd have some sort of magic. Sure I do, watch this! Dala upcuts Dimitri right in the jaw. She's tattooed the word magic across her knuckles. <laughs> Ow! Looks like I underestimated that you're new here, so let me explain. Coven X Dimitri fights begin with long, dramatic monologues, playing with sexually frustrated untones, then. Can do! She punches him with her other fist, upon which she's apparently tattooed the word sexually frustrated undertones. <laughs> Duh, please just stay out of the way so I can wrap up this fight and we can all go home. This episode only has 10 minutes left of runtime. Not over. No way am I leaving my fearless leader alone to fend for herself against this freaking creep. That's not the Coven way. Well, it seems the two girls have the same end goal, but can't compromise on how to get there. So maybe you can come up a way to help them be more secret. Hmm. Let's see. Awesome play. That that will use some fun. Oh enough fun, me yeah. What the would that have enough stats for that one? Everyone is pretty confused when you start dragging out Dance Dance Revolution mats, but you don't care. You're about to reenact your favorite Evangelion episode. This is the best day of your life. You want us to dance and seek? Sing? Are you sure this will work? I'm not much of a dancer really. Nah, I bet you're natural. I love dancing. It's like punching, but with a back beat. Mm -hmm. Ok, 
Okay, fine. What zone should we dance to? Oh, this one looks promising. 24 7 lo fi hip hop radio. Love only lo fi. Love beat to start to black sleep. Um, no. Oh, no way, that is news. What about Thank You Next by Arena Grande? I. No. I love that. Uh, not my thing. Oh, what about Snuff by S Slipknot? I at least heard of that band. Uh, girl, do you even know what dance music is? Here, let's do Breathing by Ariana Grande. Uh, Why are all your suggestions Ariana Grande songs? Can't we pick something else? I mean, if you don't like the very queen herself, I guess that's fine. I've heard unthinkable and unforgivable, but fine. Hmm. Occasionally, I also listen to anime opening themes and the screams of my enemies. Uh. Okay, well, if you can't play DDR to heavy metal, lo-fi, or Jajoran chanting, this isn't going to work for me. You know what? I think we can at least agree on one thing. Alti's plan is totally garbage. You're not even worth my time. Hey, you two remember me? The first sexy bad guy who's been standing here the whole time waiting to get this fight over with? Oh, don't worry, Bozo. We didn't forget about you. Now it's my turn to suggest a battle strategy. Operation Throw Crocodiles is a go! Okay, that could work. Together, join Da, huck live crocodiles up to Dimitri. Keep treats, as live crocodiles don't like being thrown, but love to bite living things indiscriminately. <laughs> At least the problem is solved, but join Da is still pretty annoyed with you for wasting the time. Then try this just by throwing more live crocodiles at you. Ugh. The worst part is, this definitely never happened in every Galeon. Lose my two spots, my one charm for having such dumb plan. Oh. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Well, still not off to a good start, but maybe I can turn this around. Well, that'll do for now. See you all next time. Bye bye for now. Woody McNaught's Liam. So, you like tough girls? <laughs> yeah, what about this? Nothing! Isn't she your type? Cute, sweet, but also has a bit of a psychotic side? <laughs>